What lies beyond our universe? The right answer is that both space and time were created at the Big Bang about 14 billion years ago, so there is nothing beyond the universe. However, much of the universe exists beyond the observable universe. According to 2011 MIT Technology Review Report, the universe is at least 250 times larger than the observable universe, or at least 7 trillion light years across. It is the same size as if we compare our sun to Westerhout 392, or for your understanding, just compare observable universe to 250 observable universes. So, universe beyond observable universe is far greater in size as we can even imagine how huge it may be. But what lies beyond this tiny bubble of the observable universe? It may be a super universe, or maybe there is just nothing. I've found five equally plausible and yet not provable theories regarding the great beyond. First, let's talk about what the observable universe actually is. Then we can speculate about the beyond. The observable universe includes all the space we can observe and measure based on the light that reaches us. Our universe is approximately 13.772 billion years old. This means that everything further away than light can travel since the beginning of our universe simply hasn't had enough time to reach us and thus remains unobservable. It's pitch black. The problem with this is that it's not a technical limitation. It's not that we're not advanced enough with our technology to peek behind that mysterious veil. It's simply a limitation due to the speed of light itself. Furthermore, the universe itself is expanding at an increasing rate which means that the mysterious border is moving further away from us. A radio signal from Earth would technically never be able to reach the edge, even if it traveled towards the edge for an infinite amount of time. Theory 1. Outside lies an empty void. One theory suggests that the great beyond of our universe might simply be an infinite, empty void of nothingness. I don't like the concept of nothingness, because nothingness is something we simply can comprehend. Note that a vast black space is not nothingness. It's a vast empty space and therefore something. We can comprehend a real nothing as it is not observable and eludes any description. It's the absence of everything. Even more, could an infinite space exist at all? As far as we know, everything in existence is finite. Even things that are seemingly infinite now are merely close to infinity, but never truly infinite. Theory 2. Outside lies just more of the same universe. Another theory suggests that the not yet observable part of our universe contains more universe. Nothing else. More stars, galaxies, and clusters in an infinitely expanding space. This would also make this theory like another assumption called multiverse theory. If space truly expands infinitely, then there must also be infinite repetitions of our own universe, our own planet Earth. With a single infinite universe, there must be an infinite number of Earths within somewhere. After all, there is a limit to how much you can create with atoms, even if that limit is incomprehensibly high. But if our universe is constantly expanding, then what is it expanding into? If our universe has the shape of a balloon being blown up, it expands on its surface. But that room around the balloon, what is it? If our universe is a closed loop, what lies outside that loop? There must be something, right? Theory 3. We are inside a black hole. Another interesting phenomenon might be a possible answer to our very own universe. Black holes are stellar objects that come into creation when dying stars collapse under their own mass, forming an incredibly dense singularity. What if our universe is nestled inside one such black hole? The reason is, it is seemingly expanding, pushing its edge further and further outside our reach with every second passing, so fast that even light can't reach the edge. Maybe it's the same force that keeps light from escaping a black hole. What we observe as gravitational pull from outside a black hole is on the inside in ever-increasing space-time, pushing the border further away from everything. In the same way, our universe expands. Theoretical physicist Nikodem Popovsky who was dubbed the next possible Albert Einstein by Forbes magazine in 2015, has proposed another interesting theory. Our universe came from a fraction of a much bigger universe, which got sicked into a black hole and compressed until it reached an unfathomable, dense state. 
This core fragment, affected by gravitational spin, then exploded violently, forming our current universe as we know it. This core might be the source of our Big Bang. This could also mean that every black hole in our own universe may contain other universes. Each of these phenomena may contain a universe much like our own, and outside of our universe might lie a much bigger universe. We're merely confined in a black hole inside of it. Tier 4. Dark flow from outside. If we follow common cosmological models, the spread of galaxy clusters in our universe due to expansion and inflation should be random. However, Kishlinsky et al. have claimed to have found a certain pattern showing that some parts of the universe are being pulled stronger than others. This pull must stem from a strong force originating outside our observable universe. Originally, it was thought that this unobservable outside force could be a black hole too. But if it were a black hole, then the speed of the clusters would accelerate exponentially the closer they get to the black hole. Their speed, however, has been quite constant and a black hole being the cause for this gravitational pull seems unlikely. These claims are still being disputed but provide an interesting theory about something strong lurking outside our universe, having a strong influence on the movement of its expansion. And Dr. Hallman's take on this opens the door to another popular theory. Theory 5. Our universe is part of a multiverse. One of the more popular theories consists of a multiverse, a collection of countless universes that float around in bubbles next to each other. Each universe consists of an alternate reality. With that theory and its approach to infinity in mind, it is plausible to say there exists a universe where your life is exactly the same as it is now. The multiverse theorem describes all these universes floating around next to each other in an empty space, disconnected from each other. Each one contains a different reality, like a bubble. And some people speculate that you might be able to cross into another reality by passing through a wormhole or a black hole. 